Hey, what is going on, Road Trippers? Road Trip Nate here, once again. Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> Today I had a, just a hair up my ass to do a random top five, plus an honorable mention. I current, the, the theme obviously is the Arkansas Razorbacks tonight. my hog that I've had for a couple years in my bedroom Se several years now actually I've had this thing for a long time but as those captions at the top stated a topic I don't usually talk about on this channel is sports related. Usually my channel is more travel, movie related, but the Arkansas Razorbacks are my favorite team overall. Y'all know me. Those of you that have been watching this channel for the last ever since the channel started. I'm, I'm a Razorback fan. <laughs> uh, this is a long intro, so... I, I had a just a completely random idea. I haven't even wrote it on the list, which is weird for me to not do. You do the list, but... My top five favorite Arkansas quarterbacks of all time that I've seen. Currently watching Hog Sports, watching about the uh, the uh, the transfer portal, the uh, players that were getting and losing. But it 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 got me thinking. I want to do a video about the U of A. I may even I may even do a top five players that I've seen from Arkansas. <clears throat> but tonight, as the best of my ability serves, because this is spanning 25 years that I've been actually keeping up closely with Arkansas football. The top five quarterbacks are the Razorbacks. I'm not going to be talking about Mitch Mustang, who stayed and could have been a great quarterback with the Razorbacks, but he went and ended up being like a fifth string at USC because they had so such great quarterbacks in front of him. He could have been an all-time great at Arkansas, but he chose not to. I'm not going to talk about Nathan or Casey Dick because they're memorable for other reasons, just because they were so freaking sucky. I'm not going to talk about Felipe or any of the other Chad Morris quarterbacks who are forgettable that I don't even remember. <clears throat> but I am going to start off with that one honorable mention. Because you know I got to. Austin Allen. Austin Allen. I wasn't too impressed with him whenever he first started. Oh, by the way, probably if I do a, a favorite Arkansas player video, the get the jersey I always wear during the Razorback games, Darren McFadden, my favorite Razorback player of all time that I've seen. But getting back to Austin Allen, I wasn't too impressed with him at first. But he kind of grew on me, and I even told Mom that, you know, for that team, he was my, he was becoming my new favorite Arkansas player for that for that team, those couple years that he was the starter, younger brother of uh, Brandon Allen. But he's not better than the 
other five players on this list, in my opinion, that I've seen. Other people have, you know, other opinions, obviously, but this is just on my my own personal opinion. But Austin is an honorable mention. Now, let's get into the top five. Matt Jones. Why is Matt Jones number five? Because I don't really remember much about him. He's probably the, the, the quarterback on this list. I don't remember much about him. I mean, I've watched highlights, and I remember, you know, when I was a, when I was like nine or ten, I remember, you know, glimpses of, of him. But I, 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 I don't remember the guy. <clears throat> I know he was, he was a great running quarterback. Had had a pretty decent arm. But the reason he's number five for me is I don't remember him. And that's, I mean, if I would have remembered him, he probably would have been higher up on the list, but I don't remember him. He had some successful years at Arkansas, but like I said, I don't remember. Number four, Tyler Wilson. The old Arkansas Ostrich. He was an Eli Manning-esque kind of quarterback for Arkansas. You'd think the, the pocket was collapsing, and he could just like back out of there and make a play happen. It was just like, he would do that on the on the regular. It was just like, holy crap, what, what did I just watch? I mean, Tyler Wilson was great at making those. Uh, you think the plays are doomed, and it's just like, <laughs> he keeps the he keeps the play alive. It's like whoa, and he he had an, he had a couple years in the NFL. He wasn't a he he definitely was one of those players that peaked in college, just kind of like Matt Jones. But yeah, Tyler Wilson he was he he could he could make those mind blowing plays. It was just like wow, okay. <laughs> Number three, KJ. KJ Jefferson. The reason he's not number two is because I'm a little bit salty with him right now. Give it a couple of years, I might change my, my tune, but. I was talking to my grandma yesterday, and I didn't even know this that he had decided to transfer before Petrino came back, which, yes, Bobby Petrino, our former head coach, is back as the offensive coordinator, which I'm excited about that. As a Razorback fan, I've always wanted Petrino to come, to come back, and now he's the offensive coordinator. We're losing KJ, but we've got, I think, a couple quarterbacks coming in. But KJ... KJ was built like a linebacker. He could just run people over. And it's like me as a Razorback fan, I've never experienced that. Matt Jones was probably, I think, like that. But KJ was just, he was the, he was the first one that I remember just being like, most, most Arkansas quarterbacks are just, you know, prototypical passers. Or, you know, just okay players but KJ would he he would just he was kind of built like Ben Roethlisberger he could just do things that I've never seen an Arkansas quarterback do which was fun to watch but he is number three for now he might he might jump up to number two when I give myself time to uh cool off, basically. But the actual number two, Brandon Allen. Brandon Allen, he was, he was, he was almost, he was better than average, but he was a competitor. We were in games that without him, we would have lost. He, 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 
he had that that drive to him to to win games, and he made the team better. So that's why Baker Mayfield or not Baker Mayfield what by Wow. Okay, I'm. Maybe it's the alcohol, <laughs> but Brandon Allen. <laughs> Brandon Allen was he he was a he was a driven competitor, and he made the made the team better. That's why he's number two. But number one, rest in peace, Ryan Mallett. He was the quintessential, the, the number one top tier version of what an Arkansas quarterback is. He was a pocket passer. He, he set several records at Arkansas. He got us to a couple of bowl games and we won. And he was under Bobby Petrino when he was setting those records for Arkansas. But he would stand in the pocket and he would just deliver bombs. <clears throat> Some of the greatest plays I've ever seen was Ryan Mallett to our receivers, which our receivers at the time were great. But that's going back to the Petrino era, which hopefully we're reviving that era. If, if I didn't already say, I'm watching Hog Sports talking about some of the transfers coming in, what the transfer portal, how, the, how that's going on, which, in my opinion, that's the worst thing. That's, that's going to destroy college football because the teams with money can, which Arkansas is not a team with the most money, so we're, we're going to have to just get system players to make Petrino's system work. We're not going to get the flashy, uh, you know, top players. We're gonna, we're just going to have to get some, uh, system players. But that is my ranking for tonight. He was just a, a hair at my butt ranking. Let me know what you all think. If you all want to want me to do top five players I've seen from Arkansas and if y'all want to see me do more videos sports related which like I said this is something I don't normally do on my channel I've rarely done but it was something I was I had a I had a good feeling about tonight to to do a live stream we're at 13 12 13 13 Let's get it to 15 minutes. But yeah, I think I, think I bought my razor bag at a Harps in Fort Smith, I believe. Uh, when I was working at WIS, back in 2013, 14, 15, somewhere around in there. <laughs> But yeah, I've, ha I've had that thing for almost 10 years now, so it's it's been around for a while. Anyway, hope everyone is fixing to have a very Merry Christmas. Christmas is only seven, a, a week away, so. And I hope the Razorbacks have a better year next year. We, sh we should. I'm hoping we can beat Texas next year, and we play Oklahoma State next year, too. We play A and M, of course, at the Jerry World, but I think we should be better. But if not, life is just going to go on. It's just—I mean, I don't—I don't foresee us winning a national championship. I just want us to be like a respectable team next year but we're at 14 seconds left that's going to do it for this episode if you're new here please feel free to hit that subscribe button after the video to stay notified on all my current and future whereabouts and if you like this video give it that all important thumbs up it lets me know you care 
this is Road Trip Nate saying thank you for everybody that has 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 watched me and subscribed throughout the years. We are at 300 subscribers right now, so thank you for everybody throughout the years, and we'll keep this we'll keep this train rolling. Until the wheels fall off. And hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping the wheels don't fall off, but we'll keep this train rolling. We'll keep this train on the track and keep continuing on to make more videos, travel, movies, sports. Y'all know me. That's what you're going to get from me. But thank you all for. For, for for watch watching my channel throughout the years, y'all are the one are the real heroes of this channel. I'm just the one that talks. <laughs> anyway, bye from the Castle Road Trippers. This is Road Trip Nate saying so long.